90 degrees of our clinometer and subtract it to the angle because right now this angle is not the true angle of the rocket. So everyone do 90 minus 72. And Elijah, what do you get? 90 minus 72. 18. So 18 is the angle of our clinometer is the true angle. Okay, next is our meters. Um, now, 65 feet is how high the, the rocket went, but we need to turn these into meters. So we're going to multiply it by a fraction to turn it into meters. These fractions are called conversion factors. We want to cancel out feet because meters is what our answer needs to be in. And we're going to use the number 3.28 feet as the conversion factor for one meter. Now 3.28 is something uh, all scientists will use to turn feet into meters if they use one over um, conversion factor. So feet will cancel out. And what's left over will be 65 times 1 over 3.28. Same thing as 65 divided by 3.28. So Jimenez, give us that number. Thank you, Carlos. They're still doing that? 65 divided by 3.28. 19.8. Uh, we round. 2. 2 meters. So if we were going to draw a triangle of this um, rocket, it would look like this. Like this is where the rocket is. That's my rocket. And this is the angle, 18 degrees. And the length here is 19.82. Yeah. Um, yes. But we're, we're still doing number five on the student four's work. But I can give it back to you after this. So what we just did was set up our problem. So the rocket height can be calculated. The way you calculate this unknown height is tan theta equals, all right, hopefully it's our physics stuff. We're going to get more physics equipment in a moment. Uh, let's All right, let's finish this. So tan theta equals opposite over adjacent. Adjacent. Now, this is a math formula that is taught in many math classes. If it's new to you, you just have to trust the process and follow along. Theta is the angle. So what is our theta, um, Jesus? What's the angle that we found? What's the true angle of our clinometer? 
That's the length. I wrote the word true angle next to the oh, 18. So everyone write tan 18. We're trying to find the opposite side of the triangle. This, the height, right? This is the angle, the opposite side here. So adjacent is going to be 19.82. Oh, it's right there. It's a lot of stuff. Thank you so much. Um, now we're going to solve for the opposite side. So if, uh, if I was to ask Shana, if I want opposite by itself, how do I cancel out this divide by 19.22? How do I cancel it? Shana or Shana? Sorry. Shana, how do I cancel this out? By doing what kind of math? Well, it's already dividing. Yeah, yeah, multiply. So multiply times 19.82 to both sides. And then we're done. That's that's the last step. So what is... Actually, we're not done. We have one more step left. We have to add the average height of a person. You put in tan, 18, end parentheses, times 19.82, and it is 6.44. Yale taught you this? He taught you that? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yale, I have to make you a tutor. Because everything you taught him, I'll tell him later. Okay, so this is not our final answer. Because this triangle is only for the height of the clinometer. <laughs> Under here is a person holding the clinometer. And that's 1.9 meters. So we have to include the person that's holding the clinometer. Where does 6.44 come from? Shauna, tell us where. What did you do? You did this. So, so try on your calculator. Hit tan, 18, and parentheses, times. What do we multiply up here? Here? This? 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 This is opposite. So in uh, geometry, it's taught that you have um, tangent of any angle will equal this side divided by that side. So it's kind of like a formula. 19.82, but then I asked Shauna to cancel out the 19.82, so he multiplied both sides. Yeah, we have one minute left, so please pack up your stuff, everybody. No, keep that. These are your notes for your exam. Thank you.